Welcome back to the Beyond the Scope podcast presented by NDMD Productions. I am your host, Andy, senior year medical student, and here we continue the mission of sharing impactful stories from students, residents, and attendings of different medical professions while giving you an inside look into their lives, not just as healthcare workers, but the incredible people they are as well. But this place is all about the things that the years of medical training doesn't really prepare you for, things that are beyond the scope of our practice. So with that being said, let's Welcome you to a very special edition of the Beyond the Scope podcast. Um, I'll keep the intro very short because honestly, I am terrified. And I'm going to apologize in advance to all of our audio listeners. Uh, I promise you this is going to be a lot more interesting if you watch uh, the version on YouTube. But uh, we have a sp- very special guest in town, uh, Aaron from the Med School Boys. What's up, y'all? Nice to be here. Well, I don't know if it's nice to be here considering what we're about to do, but... Lord Jesus, help us all. Uh, yeah. A- amen. Because uh, today, well, a couple weeks ago, obviously, Aaron um, is from Texas A&M mm-hmm. uh, Med School, and you are freshly done with step one, right? Yeah, ho- hopefully so. Just got away on the score, but hopefully got the job done. Coasting out. Yeah. I know you did fine, um, but they put out a poll a couple couple days ago, a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago, um, asking you guys about... Um, you, some step one questions, like how to get through the process. And, um, you know, as two medical students who have completed step one, I've completed step two as well. So I can probably lead some insight there. We wanted to answer some of your top questions while he's in town. Uh, but I had the really, really stupid oh idea God. of, you know, step answering step one questions and study tips. That's, that's pretty like common on YouTube, right? Or just like social media. How do you make that interesting? Uh, well, <laughs> Q Sean Evans, um, there's a box here with the label Hot Ones on it, and we introduced the new third a- camera angle to this show today because we have the current season's hot sauce lineup with us, and we are going to attempt to answer <laughs> your step questions. Step questions. While hopefully not getting a stomach ulcer. Hey, these are just, if you really think about it, this is just spicy chicken nuggets from McDonald's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're balling this on a budget here. Uh, should, yeah, like, let's, let's, I'm just, it's all a mentality thing. It shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so we, we don't have wings. We have uh, McDonald's chicken nuggets, uh, not sponsored. But we have all the sauces. And uh, um, <laughs> I'm I'm really scared. Are you? How are you feeling? Dude, I literally... I literally took a sniff from it. My nose is already running. I don't know what that means. I just, I just hope, I, I hope I get through this. If that's from, from a sniff, I don't know what's going to happen. When I actually put one in my mouth. So, um, yeah. So you guys we'll are see. about to see how, but we'll do our best to answer step questions. That's what we're here for, right? We're answering your step questions, but bear with us. If we, uh, if something happens mid answer, uh, just try to be understanding of we're doing this because it's- for, your entertainment and education. <laughs> As you can tell, this, this is going to be an interesting episode. Uh, we thought we'd mix it up. We got our milk here, our well, protein shakes here. We got some ice cream in the freezer. Ben and, and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie in the fridge. Absolutely. Ready to go. Um, our, our producer, Charles, is behind the curtains. Uh, the safe word is banana. Banana. Uh, we we'll go for that. If, if we say that, please <laughs> go grab us <laughs> the dairy product. I'm gonna be screaming. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be screaming. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, let's um, won't get to that, right? Okay. Yeah. Wel- welcome okay. to Augusta, Aaron. Uh, I'm really sorry. This is the way I welcomed you. I just wish Suri was here with us, but I guess. Yeah, this is gonna be it. All right. So let's get started. Don't touch your uh, face or eyes. <laughs> Uh, first one, we'll make this at least informative for the <coughs> for the audio listeners. Uh, we're going to eat each of these wings, try a sauce, and then uh, answer your questions and kind of discuss about it. So first one is a classic Hot Ones um, Chili Maple Edition. It has 1,600 Scoville units. So Aaron, take your first. And, well... <laughs> Cheers. Not bad. Yeah. We're just going to say it's flavor. Yeah. 
No, those are pretty good. Oh, well, we'll start with our first question. Yo, that was like sriracha, man. That was like nice. That wasn't bad. Oh. Beautiful. So, oh, okay. first question from AI and Sohel. Is it more stressful or less stressful now knowing that step one is pass fail? I would say it's less stressful, obviously, because there's like a lot more weight that's lifted off of your shoulders. It's like knowing you just have, like, at most you have to get the pass, right? But that doesn't downplay how difficult the exam is, you know? I mean, like, when when, they, when step was made pass fail and every leading up to exam, everyone's like, uh, upperclassmen and like people in my class, are like, oh, it's like, it's pass fail. Like, it shouldn't be that bad, right? But like, how, like how we talked about before, it is an easy exam to pass, but it's also a very easy exam to fail. Yeah. If you take this lightly, like, do, I'm telling y'all, do not take this exam lightly. Put the work in. I I definitely it's, agree. Yeah. Um, now, of course, the whole pass fail initiative was made to kind of uh, improve mental health um, across the board mm-hmm. in the residency application process. We can probably talk about that later after you oh, yeah. take step two and everything. Um, but I think what it also has inadvertently done is made a lot of med students not take it seriously because mm-hmm. they're just like, oh, it's pass fail. I'm a cruise. Like, it, it can't be that hard yeah, yeah. to pass, right? And then, I mean, you were saying even at A&M or actually, no, nationwide, the pass uh, yeah, rate think, has dropped. I think so, yeah. Uh, maybe like, a few, per, like maybe like a few percentage points, like like two or three. I don't, I, I don't know the exact number. I'd have to look into it. Don't but take my quote for it. I mean, it, a few percentage points across the nation. That's that's a lot. It's insane. Yeah, okay. I remember in my like my upperclassman, like my good friend, like Ahmed. He told me like it was like a year ago when he took it. I remember telling me like last August, he's like, dude, don't take this lightly. Like I know it's pass fail, but like it it's not gonna be a cakewalk. I'm like, thank God I listened to him. Like I I always tell him, I literally as I got done leading up to step, I like told him I was like. Hey, thank you so much for telling me that a year ago because I'm like, I wouldn't be in the position to take this exam if it weren't for your advice a year ago because I didn't take it lightly. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think like the overall consensus is you, you don't, you don't want to take it lightly, Mm -hmm. prepare for it as if it is scored because that's what's going to get you through. And I will always mirror the fact it is a easy exam to pass but an even easier exam to fail so as long as you have that baseline work ethic and that baseline really level of effort Mm -hmm. into your studying one it'll it'll really set you up well for rotations if you take it before um, your rotations Mm -hmm. or set you up really well for step two if you end up taking it after rotations like me Um, so yeah I think definitely avoid the trap of false sense of security with it being pass fail right. and take it seriously. 100%. All right, level two. Let's go for it. Before, <laughs> let me pull up this question. So Let's I know. See. So, uh, there we the, go. okay. The second, the second wing is a uh, cyanide gourmet. Trop, tropic. Did you say cyanide? No, Sinai, like Mount Sinai. Oh. No, not cyanide. A, 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 <laughs> no. You cyanide? I was like, Bro, I'm eating the same thing as you. I'm not dropping yeah, I was cyanide. Like, what? Okay. So this is four 4,000 Scoville units. Um, what was the first one in Scoville units? Uh, 1,600. Okay. So this one, I mean, it looks, I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe like change the camera angle to mine. Um, It's it's kind of like a, like a chutney. Almost. <laughs> Chutney. It, is that a, is that like, a good it's comparison? Like, like the color, yeah. Yeah, low key. Yeah, it's like yellow, but... It's, yeah. I mean, it smells fruity, so we'll go for it. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. That was pleasant. I'm okay with that. Yeah, All right. I actually enjoy that. Oh man, I hope we can keep enjoying the the next ones. But see, this is weird. If it is like, it's like false scent. Like they're like falsely leading you into something. He's like, oh, it's not bad, and it's one of these is just gonna hit us out of the blue, and we're gonna die. And but hey, I'm assuming like this is this is going well so far. So that's the perfect first, analogy for yeah, step like, one. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> oh right. my god. Let's get going with these questions before, you know, we can't talk anymore. All right. 
So, Life of Live Four on IG um, asked us, "How long did you study for?" Ooh. So, for step one, it was about like so. I studied a little bit during Christmas break, mm-hmm. um, and then I took mine January twenty seventh. So, probably about a month for it. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind that I took it after my um, core clinical rotations. Right. So it was like definitely an interesting, um, I guess like a unique time period to Mm -hmm. take it. I don't know how much of like my clinical knowledge contributed to my ability to take it in like four weeks. You can probably attest to that Mm -hmm. based on your experience. Uh, But it wasn't, it wasn't too long for, I think as long as you're working hard and paying attention in your pre-clerkships, um, you can fill in the gaps in four to five weeks pretty easily. I think that's been the consensus I've heard from like my friends, Josh, he just took uh, step one as well um, from Sidney Kimmel. And he actually, he actually pushed his back and he regretted pushing it back. Really? Yeah. Cause he, he thought he wasn't going to be prepared enough in time. And then uh-huh. he ended up going, Oh, okay. By like four, four and a half weeks. weeks. Like, like, yeah. yeah he, he was like, I'm ready to take this. So yeah. Um, there is that kind of nice Goldilocks area that you don't want to extend it too long because then mm. you're kind of just like building up anxiety and you're also you also get saturated in thinking knowledge by so it's like the material like where the material is fresh is like after those four weeks like you have it all rotate in your head yeah well for me like um, I treated U World as like my number one thing we actually our school actually gave us U World I think last uh, September September of was it 2022 and we got that. And like my friend Jordan, he came up to me. He's like a good, like close friend, good classmate. He's like, bro, you realize like there's like 3,500 questions, right? If you do, if you manage to like diligently do 30 questions a day, you will have finished all of UWorld by like the end of January. And our dedicated starts like begin late February or whatnot. So I was like, oh, bro, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, let me just do that. That sounds like relatively straightforward. So I somehow managed to diligently do that for like seven months. Uh, I finished UWorld by the time I started dedicated uh in february and by the time i finished all the question blocks so i had literally five weeks to just do my incorrects i saw that's all i was doing the five weeks of dedicated I was just doing my incorrects I and mean, i just took the exam right after that so i would say studying of september it's like probably a good amount of time eight months nine months was like, like six seven months doing dedicated questions 30 questions a day um and that's like you're also using those questions to learn in your your pre clerkship, and then when it came to dedicated five weeks of dedicated, so yeah. that's how long it was for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone's everyone. Like you could ask so many people um, how they studied. Everyone's approach is very different, just depending on your circumstances and your curriculum. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I do think the general consensus is like four to five weeks is probably a, a good period for dedicated. Exactly. Yeah, and um, you, you should. As long as you lock in, I think you should be able to. Bro, go in and I was, <laughs> I was like leading up to dedicate. I was just like four to five weeks does not seem like enough time. But when you like, when that's like literally all you're doing from like however long in a day, it's all you need. Dude, that leads into the next question I got for uh, everybody from Shanti Lam. But before, before we get to that, level three. Uh, we got the micro saucery pico peppers, the pico rico. Fifth, oh, why is there such a big jump? Where'd it go from? The last one's 4,000. This one's 15,000 Scoville units. Cheers. Oh, dude, this one, this one's a chutney. It's like orange. Oh, dude. Cheers. Okay, yeah. Okay. I like that there's a lot of tomato in that. Yeah. That didn't feel like 15,000. It did Actually, not. Well, I'm knocking on wood. Nope. We're going to keep going. So, Sean G. Hulam says, how intense were those five weeks? Like, no socialization, just studying. Oh. Uh, no, for me, it was like, our dedica- my dedicated schedule was, um, I literally wouldn't. Circling you know, those first four weeks at least, just go from like not if I start at eight a.m. I end at five p.m. I start at nine a.m. I end at six p.m. Just relax from like an evening. Treat it like a job, man. That's really like what you're doing. 
But now when it came to it, it was like that last week, I was in a position where I needed to like really grind based on my like the the NBA me score that I got on that Monday of my last week. And this is like like a week out from the exam. And I was like, oh bro, like I need to I need to ramp it up, you know. And then literally that last week I would go with study with Saman, our roommate, one of the Mexico boys, and we would wake up at like six thirty in the morning and start studying from like seven AM and go all the way to like nine PM. Obviously with like lunch break and like thirty minute ping pong sessions to keep us sane. But the first four weeks, like I, I was, yeah, I could study and have like some time for myself. But that last week was, yeah, it was do or die. But for you, I know it's opposite as we discussed, right? Dude, it was terrible. Yeah. It was absolutely awful. Um, I mean, I, I kind of have the rule of practice, how you play, especially when you mm-hmm. um, are preparing for these practice tests. So like every morning would be about like five, five thirty, wake up be doing some onkies from the review or onkies. five in the morning yeah yeah um and so like i would be up because i i'm the kind of person that likes to be up and working when like nobody else is working i don't have right, any distractions right. on my phone yeah. i know social media is dead like that's when i can lock in mm-hmm. and so that's when i would kind of like chip through as much onky as possible like eat some breakfast or something, 7, 7.30. Yeah. And then, like, your first you were block is starting at 8 o'clock because, or at least as close to 8 o'clock as yeah, you yeah, can yeah. get um, because that's typically when you would be expected to start on test day. Mm-hmm. So it's priming your brain to get used to that sort of schedule. Exactly, And, and yeah. being turned on then. Um, and then, so I would do three, at, at the bare minimum, three blocks a day. Mm-hmm. Um, the 120 questions a day. Um, sometimes I take a break in between them. Sometimes not. Like it just depends on the momentum that mm-hmm. I have. I'm very momentum based when I'm doing standardized testing. So it's like you know, I finish one block and I'm like, oh, dude, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the next block and just go straight for yeah, straight yeah. through 80 questions. I think that also has to do with I took shells before I started studying for step one. Your and endurance those must are, have been insane. Those are 110 questions yeah. straight. Like there's there's no blocks in it. It is literally 110 questions straight. So. I don't know. Maybe I just got used to it. Um, but yeah, I would do the 120 questions, have my lunch break. And then like about one o'clock or, or two or something, that's when you'd review and your mm-hmm. review time should take probably, you know, as much, if not a little bit more time as it took for you to do, do the book. questions. Yeah. Um, and so I would have my Anki pulled up on one monitor, like the browse uh-huh. feature using the URL QID function, everything and searching the cards that were specifically tied to each question. And then going, going through unsuspending the ones that I think I need or is like attacking the knowledge mm-hmm. deficit I had in my incorrects. And I, was, I would always go incorrects first, then marked, and then corrects. Just because like it kept things uh, kind of in a priority level. Mm-hmm. And by the time you're done with that, God, it was like, you know, four or five o'clock. And I try to, I try to take, you know, some, some break. Uh, no, actually, at first, I tried to cram in like content review pathoma and first aid shout out to, after shout out to dr sitar by the way yeah like after Noted. all Noted content all that um review and dude i just found i could not do it so i ended up you know just straight up doing on key and questions and then mm. like a supplement prn like supplemental resource whenever yeah, yeah, yeah. i needed and then i'd try to be done by like six or seven mm-hmm depending on how many Anki cards I, I got through in that like five o'clock session, try to be in bed by like nine o'clock or something. But doing that every single day for, I think. Friend loaded, right? Yeah. Cause, cause the step one part, I think that I was only doing it for, I guess a month at that time. Yeah. I felt like, okay, I can do it. Dude. Once it got to like step two time and like throughout my shelf retakes, God doing that every day for three months, is just inhumane. <laughs> it sucked. Like, I, there's no oh other way to put Lord. it. Yeah, I remember. It. I told you a story, but like my good old friend, this shed, um, Sean Mysore. Uh, he's uh he's about to be a uh, maybe a third. He's about. I mean, he's about to be a fourth year at Nova. And I literally called him like uh, like a day after I took step one, and we're just like laughing about the exam, like the questions that we got. I was like, oh, you got that question too? No way. And then like we're just laughing, and there's like a two second brief period of silence and he literally was like he literally told me he's like he was like laughing he's like bro like 
this stuff that they make us do is inhumane, bro. We make this normal, but it's not. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, you know what? You're right. I get lost in it thinking it's normal, but if you pull up to like a thousand feet, it is not normal, dude. Yeah. And it's and crazy. I think like also in order to kind of combat like the intensity and like the struggle of not really being able to socialize, um, call your friends. Yeah. yeah in medicine, outside outside of medicine in particular, because, dude. I just, I was like begging someone, like, please tell me your, about your day. Cause mm -hmm. my day, I don't know what day it is. Like, it just all looks the same. Yeah. Tell me what you did. So, um, there is socialization. There's not much. Um, uh, but those few. You need that to keep you sane. <laughs> yes. Those, those few people you want to keep in contact with, please, please do. All right. Level four. Read it out, man. Los Calientes Barbacoa, 33,000 Scoville units. 33,000? Yep. It's just, just level four. Should be good, right? Cheers. Cheers. I'm like, I'm waiting for the jump. I'm waiting for the one that's going to like... Knock us both down. Bro, that wasn't... That wasn't bad. Bro, oh, I think wait, I, hold on. It's creeping. It's like a tingly. Creeping. Okay. I'm, I, think I'm make, I think I'm making my ancestors proud so far, man. Good, 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 good. All right, let's keep, let's keep going. Hey. We, we got to knock these out before we... Uh, oh, my Lord. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what you got? So, on Instagram, Amna Siddiqui asks us, I want to know some don'ts. Mm. Don't, don't compare. That's one. Because I think, you know, there's always going to be people in your class that are like ridiculously smart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in reality... You trying your hardest, busting your butt to get a certain score could be someone else's like lowest task, like yeah, practice yeah, exam. Yeah. So it's it's super easy to compare yourself and get down on like the progress that you're making. But mm -hmm. I, I think you really have to approach it on a like me versus me mentality, mm -hmm. like or me versus the test, not me versus other people. Right. Um, which is it's really hard to do. I think in in dedicated everybody's kind of like in their own little caves and when those pieces of news spill out they're like hey yo this guy's like getting these scores it's a rock like star of our weeks. class yeah so the kobe Bryant of our class bro putting up shots at like 3 a.m exactly yeah. and you're sitting there like oh no i'm nowhere even near mm -hmm. near that score like how am i gonna get there in the next two and a half weeks yeah that's one of the most self-destructive things that you can do and i i say that because i did it you know like yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't do it again. But those are lessons you learn along the way. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I guess yeah. I, would, I guess it for me it would be like, bro, don't don't go through this alone. Don't go through dedicated alone. You need other people to be there around you because if you're just if that's all you're doing and you don't see anybody else, I feel like I just take a huge like toll on your mental health. So, I think for like for me, what kept me was just like when I got done, just. Having people around me to talk, take my mind off of it was, was perfect. So don't make it the only thing that you're doing. Even though like it's like 98, 90% of your day is that, make sure you get that other 10% of, you know, your friends, your family, I don't know, going to the gym, stuff like that. It's essential. That's what's going to, that's what's going to help you in the long run, endurance wise. Yeah. I, I don't say don't neglect, um, <laughs> we have this conversation in the car too, the non-negotiables of, of the day. <laughs> You know, that's you, just when that's really just one from the Mexico West. Oh my God. Just one's favorite word, the non-negotiables. But, but yeah. it's true though. It's true. Like, yeah. It's true you need your, yeah. Yeah. Like you have, you have to eat. Yeah. You have to like do laundry. You have to do your dishes. Yeah. You, oh like, man. The dishes. Um, hey, that piled up. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But, but yeah, you also should, you know, get some sort of physical activity in throughout mm -hmm. the day. You can't just be sitting at your desk all day long. Yeah. Um, so yeah, th those are the major don'ts. I I don't know if it's the hot sauce kicking in or anything, but it's like I don't I'm not really thinking of 
too many other ones. It's a pretty straightforward algorithmic time. A lot of the don'ts are just like neglecting being human. No, don't don't yeah. neglect that. <laughs> Even though I very much did. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. All right. All right. Um, next one, number five. Fly by Jing, Sichuan Gold, 46,000, Scoville. 46,000? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Wait, this one's kind of good. Yeah. It's almost like a oil. It's almost like a chili oil. Do you think? No. This is solid. You want to put some more on it? That's what I feel like, bro. Bro, this is like low. Is it because it's like drying up and it's like not, it's not hitting as it's supposed to be? Because like, I don't, is it just, well, we, I don't know. This like, are we like, handling this well or is it just like the fact that I we, mean, this one's spicy. It is. It's def- it definitely but it is. Tastes, it literally tastes like the same amount of spices like the first three. Yeah, it's pretty good. What do you think? I mean, we, well, what do you think we should, should we put I like mean, a fresh, like a fresh amount of spice on each one or? Or are we getting too like falsely confident? <laughs> I don't know. I do, dude. I don't no, know. I don't know. Hey, if, if, I'm if things, if things because get, I was tweaking before we started this. It, it, look, if if we get like real bad, last dabs here, we end it off. This one's like this one's definitely packing some heat. I I can I can I can feel I can it. Feel it. I yeah. feel it. But it's not like it's like a pleasant feeling. Yeah, it's like it's flavorful. That's the thing. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll we'll keep going. We made yeah. it. That's five, right? Yeah. All right, we're halfway through. It's halfway. Dang, hey. we haven't even taken a sip of this. Nah, that's crazy. Heck yeah, making our ancestors proud. <laughs> okay, next question um, from Yusuf Zaidi. Uh, should I do Onking? Reddit is saying it's overkill for pass fail. I got opinions on this. Brother, you don't have, like, when you say Onking, you don't have to do, un- like, all the cards for Onking, but the only Onking I did pre-clerkship and leading up to dedicated was... Uh, the U World Onking cards. That's it. So I would leave, like, I remember I told you on the beginning, I would do like 30 U World questions a day. Every single time you do a U World question, there's a question ID associated with it. You can copy and paste it into Onking as a U World add on, and it pulls up the relevant cards for, the, um, for each question, for the majority of the questions. And that's really the only Onking I did. Yeah. And it, I think it served me well doing that for the most part. And then our, our exams, yeah. I mean, our exams are in-house, so we, I'd, like to get me through the classes of in-house, I was just doing the in-house Anki cards. But for step studying and third party, it was just those U-World Anki cards. That's it. Yeah. And Onking, I think it was like, eight, yeah. there's probably like 7,000, 8,000 cards for me at most, I think. Yeah. That, that sounds about right. Yeah. So, I mean, I will credit Anking with like, at the very least... 40% of my medical knowledge. <laughs> um, it just works. Uh, if, yeah. if the guys out there are, are watching or like if you want to tag them or anything, shout out. It, seriously, you guys have done a, a big service to medical education all across the world. But I did the same thing. Well, I, I did some Anki during pre-clerkship, mm-hmm. although I don't think as effectively as I use it um, during my rotations. But I think that doing the like QID search Actually, that was so OP. Oh, my yeah. God. I don't know who created that, but whoever did, mad shout out to you. Because yep. if I didn't have it, I mean, that's like, it's such an easy way to review old U World questions yep. on a long-term basis. It's insane. It's so OP. Yeah. And I think what you also have to do to make sure that you don't burn out, because my thing with Anki is I really used it aggressively during my first uh, module. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I did like 1,200 to 1,600 Anki cards today. It was insane. bad. Like, well, I mean, it was good, but like, it was not sustainable. Yeah. yeah. So I think I kind of like overcompensated and swung the other side and said like, I'm not going to use Anki that much. Right, right. But I realized it worked. Uh, my favorite analogy is Anki is like when your mom makes you eat your vegetables, you don't like it, but you do it because it's good for you. Yeah. Uh, that, that is exactly how it is. Um, and of course, you have to learn how to do sustainably. So I, even in step... I don't think I did more than like 450 review cards uh, a day. Yeah. That was it. My average was probably like for review cards. I think at most it got to like before clerkship, I was on average of like 300 to 400. And then when I got to step like dedicated, when I was clicking again more because I wanted to make sure I solidified each card, mm. my review cards got to like at most like 550, 600. Yeah. But like you, like those sound like a lot of cards to the average person. But once you're doing them, it's, 
It goes. You can get you get those cards done in like an hour, or two hours, or an hour and a half yeah. on a good day. You two just have to lock in and do it. Yeah, every lock day. it in. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, but like, I I don't know. Like I like I. We just also remember, like, on King is like not for everybody, right? Everyone has different studying yeah. styles, so we can't attest to what to do outside of on King. Because for me, I study primarily through flashcards. Same thing with you, right? So yeah. the pre- practice questions and like Anki, you know, you, you get the term yeah. thrown around, active recall, and like question based learning all the time. Yeah, and like as overused as it as it gets, it's it just works. Like I I can't argue with it. it I yeah. don't. Sometimes I don't like it, but it works. I can't argue it's, with results. Yeah. As a job. So, yeah, you, you don't have to do the entire deck. Um, like, just the ones. Oh, also, when you look up the QID thing, it's going to pull up every single card that's affiliated with that question. Do not just, like, Command-A or Control-A yeah, and yeah. unsuspend all of those <laughs> cards. That is how you burn out. You have to, like, click through and be like, which card is specifically attacking, like, yeah, what knowledge deficit I missed. And so that's... That's how you only just unsuspend like one to like five cards per question. Yeah, some questions had like eight. And I was like, yeah. dude, like, do I really like? I feel like all these. You, if you really look at those eight cards, a lot of them were saying the same thing. Exactly. You could. So I, exactly. I must. I would probably unsuspend like at the beginning. I, I think I unsuspended all the cards, and then when I got to like when I saw eight cards, like, oh, let me see if I can get away with three cards, and you can. Yep. So, all right. Nice question. Next. Next and question. Uh, um, okay, and the next wing. Uh, wing loosely. I'm sure this is like this what, ain't what no wing. Tri- Don't say we're gonna get flame. What, tri- what are chicken nuggets made out of? I mean, is it literally is it really not chicken? I no. Well, I, what part of the chicken? I don't. Oh, I don't know. Like it's just I don't like, know if they just like all the chickens in a blender. Like I, I have oh, no idea. <laughs> I have no, no like, idea, gen- man. Genuinely, like I, I, this could be a wing. Like it might be like two percent wing, but it could be a wing. No, nah, don't say that. Don't what? say that. People are gonna come for us. But I was like, "This ain't no wing." What are you talking about, Andy? This is not a no, wing. It's no, no, a chicken no, no, nugget. No, 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 no. I know it's a chicken nugget. Yeah. I'm talking about like what you know, little pieces of chicken got grounded up to be put in here. There, there uh, might be like two percent wing okay, in here. Yeah. You know, probably. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, number six, chili lengua de fuego, turmeric bomb, sixty nine thousand Scoville units. Turmeric. Yep. It's a solution to a cold. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's so funny. All, All right. right well, how many? How many was this? Sixty-nine thousand Scoville units. What was the last one we did? Uh, forty-six thousand. All right, man. All right. Oh God. That's. That's a step up. Oh, yeah. I feel the heat on this one. That's a step up. Yep. Oh, God. I feel the heat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel This it. one, yeah. This one's, this one's one, coming. But I think I, think I don't need... I don't think... I'm think I'm good on this. Yeah. I'm feeling it. That's a... That's a jump. 69,000. Nice. Right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me. <sighs> All right. That, you only, that you only, you're not, you're not going to say a safe word, right? No, 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 we're, we're good, good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, I'm just, I gotta, I gotta mouth breathe a little bit. Uh, Charles, sorry. It, <laughs> please cut some of the <laughs> chewing in. There's that, salt, there's that yeah. false confidence right there. Wow. Okay, that one, that one hit. Woo. Anyways, I'm, let's keep on I'm going. Still, I'm still in this. I'm here. Okay. I'm him. What are... Am I? I don't know. Let's we'll see. Uh, okay. Uh, did I ask the last question or did you... Uh, I, uh, well, um, I think you asked. Yeah, you asked. All right, my turn. Okay. Oh, my God. Yo, I, I'm waiting for this one to go away. What are the effective resources to be used? Um, the, sh- the Shruti asked us this. Uh, okay. Well, my hand is sweating, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, what? What made what that the step heck? up? <laughs> oh, God. What? Okay. Um, go for it, man. So, uh, <laughs> So, okay, your obvious ones are you rolled an Anki. Those are like your two, you know, heavy hitters. That's yeah, your, yeah. you know, right left punch combo. Um, but honestly, I gotta give a big shout out to my guy Rahul Damania, aka High Guru. 
Uh, he does some amazing free lectures on step one material and incorporates um, like question based learning and active recall. And he has an incredible, incredible notion template that I use. I've highlighted multiple times in some of my videos that help me organize. Like, so uh, what you would do is it's just like uh, you are able to tag questions that you review and then use it in a very simplified format. Say like, um, I got a topic wrong. I'm going to label it as infectious disease and uh, histology because those mm -hmm. are the two concepts that I missed. It falls under pulmonology, so that's a system. And then uh, on the little tab, it will break down and be like, okay, give me a brief synopsis of the question stem. Summarize it in an equation. So like blank plus blank in the equation. Think of blank diagnosis or blank like enzyme. And so it, it allows you to really break down what it is the question is asking you uh, super effectively. And uh, near the end, you can kind of like go in and say, hey, I want to review only my uh, cardiology mm -hmm. questions that I got wrong. So it's super easy to nail home what you're missing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those are kind of the big resources that I used. Of course, like you got your sketches. Um, I was, yeah, I was going to get to that. Got your too. first yeah, aid. Yeah. Boards and beyond, if you like it, uh, but those are those are what I use. I, I just think questions, 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 questions. Yeah, yeah. should be the mainstay of your studying. Uh, for me, the reason why I was able to crank out in like four weeks is probably because I did 120 questions a day. That's insane. So, on a first pass, who? That's insane. Yeah, first pass of 120 questions on your world is hard, man. I I mean, I ended with 69 percent uh, your world bank completion, so I felt I felt pretty good yeah. going into test day. No, yeah. So for me. Obviously, you world spamming questions. That <laughs> you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, <laughs> we it's good. still it's burning. Just, yeah, it's not going away. <laughs> I'm, I've been waiting for it right, to go away. I'm gonna keep this going uh, yeah. while this man just sweats, sweats away. Uh, so you world, uh, I think it was like the, what was it the trifecta, or just like the everyone's at least. I guess for the most part, you could ask majority of people who take them. You world, sketchy micro, sketchy farm, pathoma, those four, really. All you need, I feel like for the most part, to get through the exam, step one. And I added physiology on it. Like there's a physio, there's a physiology section specifically under physio. Great resource. It's like probably 70 videos of physiology videos. And I use that to touch up on my physiology. And those like those resources, was like five, served me pretty well, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Um, also a big, a big tip. Don't like resource overload too. Yeah. I choose the ones that work best for you. Everybody's going to use something different. Like for, for example, even me, like everybody was like, use, you are uh, use first date. Like it's a freaking Bible. It's and a lot like, of information, man. a lot of information. And like, I didn't find it very, like I was spending so much time reading through and getting so little out of it. Yeah. But if you guys like, I think like 50% of the exam is pathology, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like pathoma, like for I've hundred percent like for solid foundation, y'all just nail pathoma yeah. as early as you can. Uh, and then I mean you can get through I got through like two months out from dedicated, I got through sketchy uh farm and micro. Yeah. That's it. But yeah, you yeah. can get overwhelmed and first aid especially, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of nitty gritty details. But at the end of the day, do your practice questions. That is how yeah. you learn the best. That is the way you learn the most in as little time as possible. So mm -hmm. just, and it could be you world or Amboss or um, like scholar RX. There, there's a ton of different question banks out there. You world is like the most popularly like accepted one across mm -hmm. med schools. They really do have like a vice grip on all of med students. So it, it's nice. They have the QID. I would recommend that or you or Amboss. Mm -hmm. uh, any other resources outside that is really just preference. Those are the ones we use. Um, check them out. Uh, slow it down. Uh, <laughs> you know, we can two, spell them two, out. Two times to. Pathoma. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. It's it's kind of calmed down and gone away from you. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Uh, we're we're on to number seven now. Ready? Last one was sixty nine thousand, right? Yep. Uh, this is Karma Sauce Cosmic Disco. This is our first one breaking 100,000 school units. This is 103,000. Well, why um, do they name this Karma Sauce, man? <sighs> grab, your, grab your weapon of mass destruction. And, uh, Four more, man. 
Four more. Ready? This has a spicy mix of red jalapenos and scorpion peppers. Tastes good. It does taste good, but oh my god. Feel the delay? There's a delay. I feel it coming. It's a delay, though. Oh, it's here. It. <laughs> god. Oh, God. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm just like. I felt it go from the front of my tongue to the back of my tongue. It's in the front of my tongue right now. You want more? I don't know why. I'm, I, you want more? I, I'm, I mean, I think I could handle more, but if I know if I did it, I'd be, I'd be screwed. You, you want more? Come on. Say, talk your talk. You know? Hey, I'm, hey, I put feel it. Put it on the left wing. No, wing, I, I feel it. Wings. I'm not sweating. I mean, I, I guess I'm sweating a bit, but I didn't oh. know. Dang. Hey, I said, Dude, I didn't I'm put doing, enough on said, you, man. I said I'm doing pretty good, bro. I, Dude, I, I underestimated I gotta, myself, dude. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, hey, you know, I gotta reset hey, the protein shake. He's no, tapping no, out. No, 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 I gotta reset the protein shake. This is not tapping out. Tapping <laughs> out is like, tapping out is a safe word. Dang. Okay. I don't know, hey, my family would be proud of me, bro. They, like, out of everyone in my family, I hate spicy food. Well, I don't hate, actually, I hate spicy food. I'm not, I'm, I can't handle it, but like, I'm not I'm handling I'm it pretty well. Terrible. That one just like. Dude, it's not even the mouth, it's the tongue. Oh, I don't know. Like, I would say, dude, look, I mean, look at these. Like, they look so innocent. Cosmic disco. It's just, oh, nice and fun. It's what we show you on the next one. The next one's apparently supposed to kill you. Uh, but before that, <laughs> hey, three more, bro. Oh, Mama Fatima <laughs> says, do you think group studies would help, or do you prefer just doing it on your own? Mama Fatima? Yeah, uh, please answer the question. I can't talk anymore. Um, I would say definitely do it on your own because you want to solidify your content from the get-go. Hey, it's, I, it's actually hitting me right now. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I'm like speaking there. I kind of was like tingling. Yeah, I get it. I'm like salivating. What the heck, man? Come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh-huh. Study by yourself to solidify the content by yourself in the beginning. Um, and then I guess like when you, after everyone and your friends, your classmates solidify your content in the earlier weeks, you can talk about stuff that you've studied to help solidify the content and bounce it off each other. Um, but especially in that last week, I really wanted like when I was like going ham, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., I literally would just wake up and follow some on schedule because I just to keep myself sane, I would study with him. But, like, we'd be studying next to each other. We wouldn't be, like, studying, like, together the same content. We'd be doing our own thing, but we'd be studying in our, each other's presence. And that was fun. That was a blast. I actually enjoyed that last week of studying because I was like, hanging out with, like, like someone, and we were just having a blast on our breaks, talking about the goofiest things to keep ourselves sane. So um, I would say in order to solidify content, do it yourself. Keep yourself sane during dedicated. Study with another person just to make it, make it somewhat enjoyable. Yeah. What about you? You good? Yeah, what is this called? Tripod inquisition? <laughs> For epic oh, titus? What is it called? Titus? H flu? Oh, oh God. I, I got my head back to you. Okay. Um, oh, man. Okay. So I would say there, there's a difference between uh, studying with someone and accountability partners. Um, for me, I had, I had a friend who I would go to the gym with every day mm -hmm. at a certain time. So that's how we would how we keep each other accountable because yeah. like if, if you get a late start it's like oh no i don't want to back out and you know not go to the gym at the same time as the other person uh so you know we'd we'd be like all right one o'clock yeah we're going to the gym that means you better get your ish done yeah, yeah. by then um so we i don't think we were really studying hey, all this bed is low-key shaking bro huh he's low-key shaking bro ah, i'm good <laughs> i right, continue my Bro, I'm, I'm going to put so much of the last dab on you. Yeah. Oh, oh. my. Okay. Uh, okay. And so, like, basically, there, you would be with people, but not really studying with people. I, you have to know yourself. I know myself as a person that if I, like, study and review things with other people. Yeah. And they would, like, they would think, oh, this is the easiest question in the world. And I'd be saying that going, oh, dude, I, I had no idea what this was. Yeah. Like, like, that would be the most demoralizing thing to me. And so just knowing yourself, knowing how you react to working and studying with other people is super key. If, if for you, 
you learn best by bouncing ideas off of other people, bouncing ways to learn certain concepts with other people, then I don't think there's anything wrong with like studying in a group. Mm -hmm. I will just say there are times that it's non-negotiable that you study alone. Nobody's going to take those practice questions for you, but you. So right. during those times, you really got to lock in. Um, you can Anki in the presence of each other. You can study in the presence of each other. But, like, I wouldn't recommend pulling up a question on the TV and, like, walking through yeah. it together because I just, like, I, I don't think that's an efficient use of time. It could benefit someone else, but could also slow you down, right? You never know. Yep. Yeah. So know, know yourself and uh, choose what's best for you, but know that there will be a component of that, that no matter how you study, you will have to, like, do it alone. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Next. All right. Next Next couple ones. We sniffed at the same time. <laughs> dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next. Oh, my God, dude. So, I don't know if any of you guys have watched the um, – the Hot One series, the current episodes. I know, like, Pedro Pascal. Uh, Idris like Idris Elba was doing that? It just like, that? The meme when he was like, yeah, yeah, he was like, yeah. that's yeah. good. He's like, yep. That's, oh, this is, okay. Yeah. The, and um, Paul Rudd and, yeah. Paul, Shaq. Paul Rudd, Sha I don't know. If, um, did Shaq do this? Shaq did it. I don't know if this is the sauce, but um, I, I know for a fact, uh, Pedro Pascal, is, this is the one that trips everybody up. Uh -huh. It's called The Bomb. Um, yeah, we're going to zoom in on this one. Wait, how did Pedro uh, Pascal handle this? Uh, beautifully, but also he's got some, you know, Hispanic blood in him. Okay, it, dude, this this is this is not friendly. Not, th none of this bottle is labeled for you to think that this is safe. We went from sixty nine thousand to last. To, what was the Carmo one? The last one was uh, one hundred three thousand. This is this is one hundred thirty five thousand, almost okay. one hundred thirty six thousand uh, Scoba units. Um, dude. When we were pouring this out, it was, it was like was, jelly. Wait, is this is this the one that we smelled? Yes, bro. I smelled this one and I started to like my nose started running immediately. God. Hey, it shouldn't be bad, right? We've gone this far. There's only three nuggets left, right? Pick it up. Hey, I'm just trying to be positive, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get this over with. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Where's the flavor? There's no flavor. It's just. It's just. Swallowed it. So then back of my tongue, I feel the spice in the back of my tongue. It's increasing. Bro, that's just pain. <sighs> oh no. Good? Yeah. As in, like. Oh. Who's asking the question this time? <laughs> it's slowly increasing. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's not like an initial. I don't think. I don't think any of these are. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> wow. Oh. We didn't get any of this stuff in like. I'm, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to go through. Go through this all without drinking my fair life. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, this is not good. Hey, mommy, daddy, you'll be proud of me. I can hand, I can I finally can handle these spices. <laughs> My it's mom crazy. dying gonna be watching this like you idiot. <laughs> uh, um. Yo, we got the AC on in here. <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh, why is it not leaving? Oh. <laughs> it was the next question. Oh, breathing it hurts. <laughs> it's slowly increasing for me actually. Breathing it hurts. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um I need to taper down my confidence, man. I'm salivating. Dude, breathing it hurts. Don't touch your fair life. Don't do it. Oh, what's the next question? <laughs> what the? I'm, uh, pa bro, I'm panting right now. Dude, yeah. Oh, why is it so delayed? <sighs> <laughs> I'm good. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Are you hungry? I'm good. I feel like I'm in a hot tub right now. All right. 
that vision blurry. Uh, I'm asking you this question. I think so. I got a tripod. <laughs> Don't know how to get started. <clears throat> Could you give me some advice? What do you mean? Just <laughs> what? Do, what do you? <laughs> Dude, just start. Oh, it's like, just delayed. Uh, how? It's delayed. How many more days until your uh, test date? Oh, sorry. I should have said, Queena oh, HCH asked us this question. Queena, just start. You gotta, you gotta get yourself. Uh, you just gotta. I can't think. Um, just start. Um, only you can start, man. That's some. That's some terrible <laughs> advice. Um, but. Oh, okay, right. look, what, what, my first question was, when is your test date? That's a good question, yeah. <laughs> and if it's, I mean, if it's close, dude, you got you to gotta have an external motivation to start. But just, I would definitely say, do like, you know, your block of 15 questions first, then 20, then 25, just so you get a feel of how to go through these questions. Uh, and then, you know. You'll, you'll build up, you do one block straight, do an hour, right? And then you build up next day, you do two blocks, and then you go to three blocks or whatever. Uh, do the little things, like practice how you play. Even if it's starting out on uh, one block, uh, start it at 8 o'clock, you know? <laughs> so push yourself every day. Start small, go big, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's perfect. A- incremental. I, incremental. So that, that just baby steps, you know, to go go with your training wheels on and then take your training wheels off and eventually you'll be, you know, grinding out a four or five hours straight. Are you do, <laughs> dude, are you sweating? My fingers are sweating. Your fingers are my, sweating? Yeah, my nose is sweat as my no, my nose is not sweating, it's running. Dude. It's like that was such a delayed effect. Oh dude, really? I, probably, for me? I think we answered that question. There, do we? To our best our ability. Yeah, I would like to think so. Yeah. Um, God, we had two more. Um, you know, <laughs> you hear them yeah. wheezing in the back and laughing. <laughs> yeah, our, our producers behind the curtain just wheezing. Hey, Charles, I think I think it might be milk time. Yeah. I think. Uh, you're, gonna you say, but you're gonna say the safe word? Uh, no, <laughs> safe, safe words like um, safe words like call the hospital. Uh, uh, <laughs> yo. Hey, mil- hey, hey, we we got some glasses. I think, I think milk should be at least on station. Um, oh, he's gay. What is he? He's getting milk. Yeah. Oh god. I'm still holding off, Andy. Bro, there's, I'm still there's, holding there's off. no shame in it. I'm trying. There's no shame in it. Dude, I, I'm, my, I'm, I'm in the last my, one. Is are your is your vision supposed to get blurry? <laughs> what <laughs> is your vision supposed to get a little blurry? <laughs> on this? Is your vision getting blurry because your eyes are tearing up? Yeah, dude, I'm crying real tears over here. Oh, th- hey, thank two you. more, man. Thank you. Two uh, more. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour the, I'm gonna pour me a cup. I got you. Ah, oh, dude, I'm, I'm being made to look like a wuss on my own show. <laughs> uh, d- oh, <laughs> damn man. it! Here we go, man. Oh, I got, bro, I got no shame. Sean Evans, y'all, y'all evil. <laughs> Y'all pure evil made a deal with the devil for this. Oh. Okay. Uh, we got two questions left, right? We got yes, this sir, one like, and then, like the last final one like, and so, then Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Number nine. Dude, there's nothing friendly about a company named Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Excuse me? There's nothing safe about that. You say Pucker Butt? Yeah, it's like B-U-T-C. Pucker Butt. Glutes, man. Oh, yo, my yeah. my hands are getting numb. What the? <coughs> are you, is your hands getting numb? Yeah. Yo, why is your hand going numb? I don't know. Hey, hey chill Mr. out, bro. Hey, stop Mr. that. Durham. Hey, stop doing that. Hey, yo. <laughs> why is your hand going? Hey, so it's like it's like it's tingling. What pathway is this? I don't know, bro. I think I feel it down like my. Uh, I feel it down my uh, my third. My I feel it down my third digit, bro. Your, what's your what's going on with my nerve. media nerve? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, wake up! Wake up! Well, hey, well, at least the bomb is warning. This sauce is extremely hot. Keep out of reach of children. <coughs> Consume one drop at a time with extreme caution. You say one drop at a time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, bro, Hold we on. put like three or four drops. Bro, what? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going I'm to give you one of these. 
Okay, we got two more questions. Nah, I can't. I'm not wiping my nose, bro. We're getting through this. What are you talking about? All right, pucker butt. Pepper company. Unique garlic. Bro, pucker butt. Hey, hey, remember make, the, hey, remember some the trips last, to the bathroom? Is that what it is? That what remember saying? the last one was 135,000 like, uh, scalable units? 135? Yeah, that was the last one, right? What is it like? Don't tell me it's like 250. No, uh, higher. What? Higher. This is 300? No, uh, higher. 600,000? A little bit higher. Andy, 700,000? No, it, it's 642,000 Scoville units. Bro, if I could have a dollar for every unit that we have consumed. We're doing this for you guys. None of you asked for it, but we're doing it for you guys. Just wait, wait. So we just jumped from 135,000 yeah. to 600,000. Okay. Are you sure you don't want some milk on standby? You got a whole protein shake. Well, I, feel, I, I, I might need it. I, I think I might. I think right, this, hey, is, this might up. be the one. Pick it up. Pucker butt. S2, S3, S4. He's a poo above the floor. I don't know where. See? I don't know where I was just trying to force I, I swallow it and I get confident, but I feel like in the next minute or two, it's just going to hit me. Because that last one was stupid delayed. Oh, what the? I swallowed it and it like came back up to the back of my throat. Like the heat, not not actual food. And wait, the recommendation is like one drop at a time. Like one drop? Oh, that was the bomb. Yeah, but this what was it? just like... Yeah, this one's a nice and even one, even though it has six uh, flames like, on Like, it. what's, like, the recommended drops? Because you said the last one's, like, <coughs> warning. Do only one drop. Well, this is fine. Yeah, no warning? You it. Yeah. No, no warning. This one, I feel like, was... This one, I feel like, was better than the Cosmic Disco. Yeah. The number, the number uh, seven one. Cosmic Disco sucked. <laughs> Are we just... Is our taste was just getting numb to this? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Are we just, like... Even though it's, like, jumping... Well, okay, the last dab uh, literally just says TBA for the Scoville unit, so I don't like that. The last one? Yeah. It's probably some unethical, like, <laughs> so some un unethical, <laughs> inhumane level that if they release, you know, the FDA or something approved, would be coming yeah. right. Okay. Uh, second to last question. How to consolidate everything and be productive in the last week before the exam? Hey, man. U I told you. Aspirant. The U Assembly Aspirant. The last week, I mean, I told you, I went like 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hour lunch break, 30 minute ping pong sessions in between. But like, the reason, I think the primary reason why, yes, it was like a grind week for me, but the reason why I simulated that schedule, because I wanted to build endurance for the exam uh, that following Monday. But he was, ask, he was asking how to consolidate information. Is that what he's asking last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think progressively throughout your five week, four, four or five weeks in dedicated majority of our, like the students that like A&M were recommended, uh, to make an, quote unquote, <laughs> an O, an O, an O, O crap list, but an O list, you know, like, Oh crap. Like this is high yield. I need, like if I miss a UL question, uh, I would put it in a question format in my Google doc, like what the patient presents with. And then the answer and the association. So that was like my high yield document um, over the past five weeks of dedicated. And that document at by the end of dedicated got to uh, 140 pages of a, of a Google doc. So that last week I was just like reviewing that uh, top to bottom, doing my onking review cards. And then two days out. Yo, 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 what the? It's like my oh, head. Is it going? No, my head is throbbing, bro. <laughs> Look at my head. My head right here is throbbing, bro. What the? I, Migraine? It's, like, it's not. It's like a migraine. I just feel like a. It just felt like. A, what the? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna continue what I said. What I what I said. What I said. What uh, I said. Yo, this. Okay, I said. Yeah, 140 pages Google Doc. Um. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Last. <laughs> what the heck? Man? Is, is your head like actually throbbing? No, I was. It was throbbing for like two, three seconds. That was weird. Anyways. Uh. uh yeah, 100 and. Uh, 40 pages uh, throughout the last week, top to bottom. And then two days out from the exam, 
uh, first aid, high yield, 20 pages at the end. Definitely look at that in your last week. And yeah, that's how I consolidated everything last week. Simulating a schedule to get me endurance in the exam. My high yield, 140 page, oh, crap list. And then two days out, first aid, um, high yield, the high yield, 20 pages on first aid at the end. That's how I consolidated everything last week. You, you, t- I, you know, you told me you took it easy on the last week. I took a different route. So I, I am definitely along the lines of like front loading. Mm-hmm. That's why I did like 120 questions. I grinded my freaking butt off the first couple weeks. And then like my last week is more just winding down. Um, yeah. Really trying not to burn out. And taking like your free 120s um, that are everywhere on Reddit. Yeah. Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think, again, I cannot... Shout out Hi Guru enough for his Notion template because it made it super easy to kind of like make your oh crap list right. in a very organized format where, you know, you just had a running list. I could filter that running list to be like, I know that I'm weak in like endocrine, right? I could just filter what are all the notes I took on questions I missed related to endocrine. Yeah. And that's how I kind of went through things. Um and really near the end, I, I was, like, tapering down from 120 questions a day to, like, 80. Mm-hmm. It's, like, 80. And then, like, last question or last day before, I did, like, just one block and just said, all right, I'm, I'm good. I'm done. Because I think really 90% of the battle on these is confidence. Like, you, it's building confidence, know, building this feeling that I trust in the work that I did with yeah. the study. And so if you're riding this wave of – a ton of good tests, like U world blocks, are really good. Like you know, practice one twenties and stuff. Once you get there, just 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 stop. Yeah, because it's like you feel confident. Oh yeah, that's the that's the kind of thing you're. That's the kind of mood you're gonna go into test day with, and that's super important. Yeah, free one twenty. Definitely do that like two days out, three days out from your exam. Don't do it early. Save it for last. Forgot to mention that. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's how I would arrange. Yeah. Um, uh, last week before exam day. Oh, last last question. Oh. This is what this is a this is a question that we thought would answer. Well, uh, yeah, but before we get to that, I'm getting ahead of myself. The last dab. This is uh, in classic, you know, traditional hot ones f- fashion. Give me an estimate. What do you think this is? Even though it's unlisted. Last one okay, was like six hundred forty thousand. So I've tried this before. I didn't think it was too terrible. Oh, you've tried it before, but but then again, it was like a previous season's one. They like come out with a new concoction of it every season. Well, you mean you did all ten of these? Like a, no, no, no. no. I tried specifically the last dab. You I just think said I you friend. just said screw it. We're skipping the first like nine. We're going to the last one. Hey, one of my friends had it. I was like, yeah, let's let's see what this this stuff is about, right? Um, but traditionally, you get to decide how much you put on. You can put on as much or as little as you would like. Um. I'm gonna go bigger. You have on. the you have the freedom of choice, you know. So uh, you, Should Aaron, I go first? the guest uh, in town. Let's see how much uh, you put in, and just just put it on uh, on the camera. Yeah, which, I don't, I don't which know camera? If we can which camera? That probably, camera? Like, is it here? Just just raise it up. Right, we'll uh, we'll, we'll show, uh, we'll, show it. we'll bring we we'll give the camera a closer. No, 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 no. So it's focused. I was gonna zoom in. Yeah, yeah. All right. right. Okay. It's the last dab. All right, a couple drops in here. Hey, you, you've been talking some mad, mad heat, so. And he had, don't get me in trouble now. Oh, God. Wait, hold on. That's a lot. Um. Anyways. No, you're going to keep going? All right, go for it. One drop, one drop, one drop, one drop. Heat check, heat check. <laughs> it's like after you hit, like, nine... Nine threes for a game winner. <laughs> this is gonna be a game winner, right? Bro, I, I game just, actually, this might not on. be a game winner. Yeah, get, get the camera over here. I, I don't know if you could see, but like he covered basically like the in, the entirety of the nugget, and he's gonna pull it up on the camera. Okay, so he he got a lot. So I I gotta at the very least match him. This is a, this is a real heat check, literally and figuratively. Oh jeez. <laughs> All right. Are you matching? I'm at you. Why not? Bro, MCG's GI department is like, you know, a five minute away from right. drive away I heard, from I heard the GI dogs here are amazing. Yeah, yeah. So so we're good. Just like as long as uh one of my friends doesn't end up like admitting me, we're good. 
So he pretty much, you pretty much have the same amount. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I was gonna match you. So for right. the guess, ready? Um, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the last question. And yeah. To everyone watching us. Hey, thanks, if thanks have, Aaron from the Med School Boys uh, for coming on the show. And uh, well, I ain't done yet. No, I'm just thanking you in advance. Uh, oh, in case kinda, we kinda can't like, finish this? Yeah, kind of like a eulogy. Uh, anyways, uh, cheers. Hmm. That's flavor. Tastes like this morning sriracha. No. Yeah. Oh, that's not morning sriracha. Oh, I feel it. It's coming. Oh, yeah. This one's a slow creeping. One. <coughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, it's here. Wow. Refraining from the milk. I got it. Yep. I don't care. <sighs> I got something to prove to my, to my family, especially my girlfriend back at home. She's like, oh, you can't handle your spice here. I got nothing to prove now. This is my own show. I am not Sean Evans. I don't do this every day. <laughs> I don't do this every... <sighs> it, dude, it hurts to breathe. <sighs> oh, okay. <sighs> Deep breath. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, it's here. It's, it's definitely here. <laughs> Yo, audience mm-hmm. members, if you if you ever try to, mm. how's how's? Oh god! <laughs> For the audio listeners, I am so so sorry. This is this is ASMR. What you talking about? Just just watch, just watch on YouTube, man. This is. Some, Oh my god, wait. This is a, such a slow creeping one. Hey, yo, I'm hyperventilating, bro. Well, I go into respiratory alkalosis, bro. <sighs> my legs are numb. No, I'm not. Hey, wait. Yeah, yeah, we can. Woo! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> bro, you still haven't attacked the fair line. Uh. Okay. Oh, my brain is going queasy. Okay, um, question. <laughs> question. I know. Uh, it was yo, was it your, uh, yo, was your anterior, your anterior hypothalamus that dissipates heat? Cause that, that shit, that shit's gonna work right now, man. Woo. Uh, at least I think it is. Woo. Cause I feel something in my brain is gonna work, man. <laughs> Your thalamus or hypothalamus? I don't know. One of them. Uh, oh my god! I remember that from my 140-page oh shit list. Uh, <laughs> bro, this is the, the oh shit list is just like one, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, ten. Mode. <coughs> god. Uh, I got this. Okay. I got uh, it, bro. Last, last question. I got it. I can do it. Okay. I got it. How how do you and I balance like uh. social media? Social media during Dur- dedicated? During dedicated. Man. You talk, please. Oh, first Someone, four weeks. One of us talk. Um, uh, first four <laughs> weeks. <laughs> 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Get done by 5 p.m. And I make a high-yield acronym on, our, on like TikTok, Instagram. Uh, just of acronyms, onking acronyms to help me remember the information. Uh, it was to help you guys remember the information. And anyone that needed to understand the disease and consolidate in a short format, that's what I did to keep up, to keep up with our content. And it was, <coughs> it was useful. It was very useful. And um, I remember those acronyms helping me on the actual test. You know, crash and burn, Kawasaki disease, conjunctivitis, rash, adenopathy, strawberry tongue, hand, foot, mouth, erythema. And burn fever. That's probably what I'm feeling right now, actually. But yeah, that was that was an example. You can see it in our <laughs> videos. There, it made a lot of them. Three of them. Four of them. What about you, Andy? 
<laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I didn't balance it. All right, I told. I mean, obviously, I made my viewers. Do I need nah. Uh, do it, do it, bro. Just you have. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Bro, it's either now or off camera. Here you go. <laughs> I'm good. Coming out the. Uh, I'm coming out the other end. Dude, I'm like, I'm tearing up. I can't. I can't touch my. I can't touch my face. Um, so for me, it's now after, uh, how many months has it been? It's been like three months. I, I got a couple weeks before my sub eye. That's when I'm filming all these. That's why I'm back. Is it very dedicated? Very dedicated. I didn't really balance it. I knew it was going to be a grind. Uh, you know, I, yeah, I, I think what you have to acknowledge is you don't owe anybody uh, content. Uh, dude, my hands are going numb. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, hey, can any neurologist out there who's watching this explain? Bro, this is my older nerve. Yeah, it's my why when you eat spicy food, your hands go numb, especially to this level. Dude, that I can't a, be right. That, that's, I need a scientific. Somebody, <laughs> please explain this. Scientific. Is this nerve damage? Am I gonna get this back? I think we'll be fine. I hope so. Yeah. But we need a scientific explanation. But like, I mean, long, long story short, like, you know, I made the video saying, hey, look, I'm going to be away for a couple months. I hope you guys understand. Let's, we, we, at the end of the day, are med students first, creator second. Right. And, you know, we we take that, we don't say that just for show. We, we are very serious about that mantra. And so if there's a time and we need to step away from it, we will. The, the people that truly watch and enjoy it, which I hope you guys are. I, ho I hope you guys enjoy watching us go through this. Um, we'll be there at the end of the day. No matter how long, um, we would not be here without the people watching and following. Um, it's been such a great journey that I hope both of us will be able to continue on. Um, and that, like, is really worth it. Uh, I... You know, even us walking around my med school campus, people wa saying like, hey, you know, I remember watching you. And they're pre-nursing, pre-med students, you know, people in undergrad and stuff like, you know, wanting to be in our shoes one day. And mm -hmm. maybe we can keep things lighthearted, fun, whilst telling a very good story. Um, I mean, it, it's obviously impacting people. And I, I hope it is for you guys. I, I just, I'm just very grateful to be able to have this platform and do fun things like this. And, uh, it's, I, I wish everybody watching, if you want to pursue a med, dental, PA, NP, CRD, whatever, whatever healthcare field you want to go into, I wish you all the best. And thank you so much for allowing us to be part of that journey. Yeah, no. Um, from, from myself included and all nine of the other med school boys, Thank you guys for watching from day one, giving us a platform to speak on and to uh, help you guys with whatever content we make. We wouldn't be here without y'all, and we thoroughly enjoy what we do because of y'all. So thank y'all so much. I'm going to wipe my nose now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and with that being said, um, I thank you so much for those who submitted questions uh, on the Med School Boys page. If you haven't followed them, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube... Uh, follow them up. Uh, Aaron, thank you for coming yeah. up to Augusta. I know it's a long ways away from Texas. Um, thank you for... Oh, we did this, man. It's insane. Thank you for being dumb enough to try this with me. <laughs> and for, hey, and for surviving. Crazy. Yeah, it was... Um, uh, obviously, we're not sponsored by Hot Ones. Uh, but if you want, I can hey, drop... send the another box... I, if you want, I will drop the link, the Amazon link to this exact set in, in the description below. <laughs> if you want to hurt yourself and be pain in pain, uh, too. So I'm going to get some ice cream off camera. I'm going to do it. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for watching. Uh, Charles, have fun editing this. Um, <laughs> be, please edit. laugh in the background. Yeah, he's laughing yeah. maniacally in the background. Um, <laughs> edit out a lot of the chewing and the heavy breathing. Is it ASMR? <laughs> Is it ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was an actual cough, but the ASMR was. <sighs> I'll That's see ASMR. You guys. I'll, uh, see you guys.
See you guys in the next one. I, I promise the next episode will be somewhat normal. All right, y'all. Cheers. <laughs>